Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video looking at an issue 6388 vessel pressure to load to load. So there's usually a very expensive part that causes this, but I'm going to check some of the easy things first. First thing to look at is the blow off valve. You can see it right there. I disconnected the electrical. I just want to inspect the wires, the plug, make sure there's no damage. Remove the air lines off the blow off valve. Remove the blow off valve, inspect it, see if there's like any kind of crud in there. Put it on the workbench, have a look at it, inspect it. I'm going to clean it up and also check to make sure that that piece was not sticking and everything looks good. The next thing I'm going to look at is the unloader valve. It only takes a couple minutes to check. It's got some super long bolts in there. I just cranked them up so it can expose the spring. And then very gently with compressed air, I give it some compressed air just to make sure that the unloader is moving freely and not sticking because that could cause issues. So this is my suspect right here. This is the pressure vessel. I got to remove all those bolts up top to get access to it. And I removed the oil separator. That's the filter right there, the oil separator. And that's supposed to be changed every 1000 hours. And this compressor is almost 1700. So needless to say, it's a little bit plugged and people don't like changing it because it's about $800 for that. So this is what the new oil separator looks like compared to the one you just seen it's a lot cleaner than what that is and you can usually tell by signs is that oil will start coming out of your air filter and inside the compartment itself gets covered in oil so i removing the o-ring and the new one that it came with does not fit up properly and i don't want any issues so messing around with it trying to make it fit i put the filter or the oil separator in and then at the last moment, I decided, you know what? I'm going to put the old O-ring back in. You got to push the filter down a little bit to seat it. And there we are again with the old O-ring because it fits better. I'm all assembled and now it's time to do some testing and also find out that there's another issue at hand. So as you just witnessed, I went to load the compressor. It would not load. I don't have that error anymore, but it'll say loaded, but it's not loaded. And then eventually the engine will cut off because it says it's under load. The engine's under too much load, but it's not actually physically loading up. So what causes it to load and unload is a solenoid valve. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second here. So as you can see at the bottom there, I zip tied the coil because I thought it, the valve was faulty at first, but when I was triggering it, well, what happened is that the coil, when it was engaged, would actually slide forward and would say it's loaded, but it wasn't. But if I held it in place, I could load it and unload it. So I put a zip tie on it and now I'm gonna fire it back up.